This lack of representation oftentimes will perpetuate lots of different social phenomena, and four I want to really um, kind of unpack for us today. One of them is this minority stress. And Meyer talks about minority stress as stress from experiences of prejudice and expectations of rejection and internalized racism. Internalized racism, of course, being that I no longer need external forces telling me that something about me is wrong, but that I've internalized, I've, it's become a part of my own normalcy that I have these internal voices now that kind of keep me in my place because, um, again, I've taken them in as part of who I am. Just the fact that you are the sole minority person in any classroom or a club or of whatever context you can think of, that alone creates stress. And we have to know that this lack of representation, knowing that you are that one voice for your people, again, creates undue stress for a lot of students of color. Um, in fact, minority stress is seen as the root of psychological distress and physical health problems in minority students. And we often will hear experiences of heart palpitations high anxiety, um, not being able to find their voice when they need to find it in a classroom, not being able to all of a sudden becoming mute um, because of this anxiety. Lack of representation also perpetuates um, this notion of stereotype threat. In fact, Steele, in his book, uh, Whistling Vivaldi, talked about this in a, to a great extent, and that's a great resource for us. But stereotype threat is, is this fear and anxiety associated with whatever it is, however I perform, uh, whatever it is that I do and say, it's going to actually confirm the stereotypes that exist about me. And this causes undue anxiety. Again, if, if I've been told all my life that somehow intellectually, inherently, I am inferior, and I'm sitting here ready to take a test, and I know that my performance on this test is either going to confirm or disconfirm the stereotype, and my fear is I don't want it to confirm these stereotypes that exist about my people, um, then again, that causes an anxiety, and that anxiety in itself actually allows the student to do fairly poorly, um, where they end up failing or they don't do as well as they normally could. Um, and that, again, it's a, it creates a terrible cycle in that it does confirm the stereotypes that exist, and again, um, really impacts the students negatively when it comes to their mental health.